some funky hair. Check. It's fine. It's always funky. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Let's go ahead. Hi guys. So, hi. Welcome. If you're new here, if you're not, hi, welcome back. My name is Tony. It is time to get this video started. It is in the evening. So, what's well, afternoon? Evening. It's six o'clock. So, happy whatever time it is where you're at when you're watching this. Um, because I don't even know when it's going live, and I don't know when you're watching it. But you, well, it's mostly you don't care. Maybe you do care. But I'm gonna. Today's video is a cook and clean with me. We're gonna start with cooking um, because I'm doing a recipe that I've not made probably in two years at least. And I remember it being kind of messy. So we're gonna do that. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Swanson Cruise orange chicken. If you've never tried that, you need to try it. It is so good. But this is something I used to make years ago all the time. Like we had it at least once a week. It's one of those recipes that kind of is a little bit time consuming, a little bit, um, but it's worth it. So it's time consuming in my opinion, because I'm a quick meal kind of gal, but we're gonna do that. I also wanna do a dessert. If you watched the grocery haul at the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, whenever I put that up. Um, I just mentioned a Twinkie dessert. I'm gonna make that as well. And then we got some cleaning to do. We're going to rearrange, see all this stuff on my counters. I don't know why I made that noise, forgive me. Um, but I wanna change this up a little bit. I like to go back and forth with changing it up and I bought a new fruit stand off of Amazon. So I bought it last week and I've been putting it off, putting it up because I wanted to do it on this video. That's like my incentive for filming this. But, um, yeah, this is just going to be a cook and clean with me video, and we're getting ready to jump straight into it. We're going to start with dessert so that it can be getting chilled in the refrigerator. I'll probably go ahead and stick it in the freezer because it's already 6 o'clock. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get that started, getting a late start this evening, but it is what it is. Anyways, um, before we jump in here, though, I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with my friend, Corinne from Corinne Danielle. Um, I don't know what to say about her. I think every time I do the intros for these things, I sound just like a broken record and people don't think I'm genuine. But with that being said, I will only collab with people that I genuinely like. Genuinely? Genuine? You know what I mean? Um, like that they are actually my friends and I know that they're not just collabing with me because they might get something out of it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> YouTube. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. We'll just say that. But, um, yeah, Corinne is so sweet. If you go over and watch her video, just hearing her voice, you will understand. She has the sweetest soul. She has two babies named Liam and Maylin. I love Maylin's name. If I had another baby, I told her I'd probably steal it. We're not having no more kids. But she is just such a sweetheart. She's real. Yeah, this is in collaboration with her. Make sure you go over and check out her video. Tell her hello. Tell her I sent you. And just show her some love because she deserves it. And you deserve it too because you will enjoy her channel. So, let's go ahead and just jump in here and make this Twinkie dessert. And now, here's the thing about this Twinkie dessert. Okay. One, I found it on Pinterest one night at like 10 o'clock at night. I don't know what I was doing on Pinterest looking at desserts at 10 o'clock at night. Hence my weight problems, right? But I was on there looking and I was like... That looks delicious, and I saved it, or so I thought I saved it. And I even thought I screenshot the recipe. Okay, I didn't. I didn't screenshot it, nor did I save it. At this point, I'm thinking I might have already been asleep. But, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of throw it together from what it looked like. So, I don't have a recipe. I don't have credit, but I did go on Pinterest and look, and there's a ton of them. So, it's not like I'm just taking the spotlight off of one dessert. So, yeah, we're going to just kind of throw this together. Everything I found on Pinterest was all different. And it didn't seem like the recipe that I had found. I don't know. But you don't care. All you care about is the good food and the cleaning. So, let's go ahead and just dive right in here. Alright, so I wish I would have told myself whenever we replace the floors that I would miss my ugly 
island because I'd be making YouTube videos in a couple years. I would probably just laugh at myself and tell myself I was crazy. I mean, I am, but yeah, I do miss the island. But we, we work with what we got. So, um, I want to show you what all you need for the recipe. It's super simple. You just need a thing of vanilla, vanilla pudding, some whipped topping, this strawberry Comstock. I don't know, strawberry pie filling anyways. You need that, and then you will need... What do we need on here? One and a half cups of milk. So, oh, and obviously, you're gonna need some Twinkies. So, we're gonna go ahead and do the pudding. This is just whole milk. Um, we ran out to town. We ran out to town and got a gallon of milk one day. John dropped it, getting it out the, of the back of the truck. And then when I got it in the house, I dropped it and it exploded everywhere. So, this is what was left and we didn't wanna waste it. So I just used my water bottle and put it in there. So that's why it looks like that. Just through putting everywhere, but it's fine. I mean, it's kind of convenient to be honest, but, but not. I did not, I refused, I guess you could say, to dirty up the mixer for this. So, I'm going to mix this up and then we'll let it sit for a minute or two and it will start sitting up. Easy peasy. Alright, and then while that's sitting up a few minutes, we will go ahead, we will go ahead and layer the Twinkies in the bottom of the pan. Can you see the pen? I opened this and ate some of it, but this is called real life cooking. Sometimes you take bites of the food, so. And then you're gonna put in maybe about two thirds of it. You want the rest of that for on the top. And you're just gonna fold this in. And just dump on me, you can't see. On top of that goes the pudding mixture. And then on top of the pudding mixture goes a little bit of leftover Cool Whip. I like to just spread it out like this because it seems like when you do it this way, it's less likely to move around and bring up the bottom layer up if that makes sense so
right? And now I'm going to stick this in the deep freeze because it'll get it chilled quicker and then that way it's ready for after dinner. All right, so now we're going to move on to the sweet and sour chicken. Um, we have the chicken here. I'm gonna just cut it up into bite-sized pieces. We've got our oil heating up. Now, the recipe I used to follow, that I am following-ish, um, is you're supposed to bake it. I don't want to bake it, so I'm going to change that part a little bit and do it in a way I've never done before. So, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be fine. But you're going to take two eggs or however many eggs. It just depends on how much chicken you're using. Uh, I think I'm using about a pound and a half, maybe two. I didn't weigh it, so... I always just eyeball everything. So anyways, you're gonna take a couple of eggs at least and just scramble them up in a bowl. Perfect, I'll probably need more than that to be honest. And then in this bowl, you're going to take some cornstarch. Again, I just eyeball it, so I'm not really much help when it comes to measurements and a little bit of salt as well. And then you'll mix this up. Real life people. They don't want to dirty up another fork. So, good enough. And then, the weird step that seems kind of off to people, but it makes a world of a difference is, let me get a plate, is instead of going egg cornstarch which you know flour usually but you know what I mean you're going to take the chicken put it into the cornstarch and then you put it into the egg so you're making like little scrambled egg chicken bites pretty much but it, it works out I promise and I have to do that about a mm, hundred times and get it all done but this is usually what I do I do a couple at once, and by couple I mean 10, 15, whatever. Just throw them in. All right, so our oil is nice and hot, as you can see, so it's time to go ahead and get scared, but it's I'm going to go ahead and get the first batch in here. We got it a little bit too high, so we're going to turn it down a little bit. have the chicken done now we're going to work on making the sauce so we're going to add about a teaspoon of garlic one tablespoon of soy sauce we don't buy regular soy sauce we always just use Dave's steak seasoning in place of soy sauce so we do that and then we need about a fourth of a cup of ketchup I'm just gonna eyeball this part all that good and then we need a half a cup of vinegar. And then one cup of sugar. All 
All right, guys. So the sauce is still boiling, but it's starting to thicken. So now we're going to use my hands gently. Just put the chicken into the sauce because it is hot. It will burn you. Hot sugar is, it's no joke. So you need to make sure you do not get this on your skin because it is, it is painful. Well, there you go. I did make the kids some chicken rice just because they don't like plain rice, but I made them some chicken rice and I'm gonna have it over some plain rice that I already had um, ah! prepped in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna plate it and then I will give you one more shot. absolutely delicious it was so good um i don't know why i've not made it in probably a year and a half two years i don't know it's definitely before i started vlogging but anyways um now we're going to get this cleanup done at this time at this point i was just over it the chicken it's simple but it is it's kind of like nerve-wracking i guess because you have to be like right on top of it you know how some recipes are so yeah at this point i was just done for the day and I was kind of wishing I hadn't have started recording, but it is what it is. And in the end, I was happy that I did. Um, you know how it is. So we're just jumping in here and going to get this all cleaned up and reorganized. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times But I needed attention No matter what I say No matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me That wants to say no mm -hmm. But I have realized to let go oh, oh cause something's broken and I'm the reason it's not that easy knowing you'll do better without me without me without me mm -hmm. I have tried oh I have tried yeah to become better but I'll die again if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am. That's why you have to know, yeah. There's not a part of me that wants to say no, mm -hmm. but I have... Alright, this is the little fruit stand, fruit basket thing I guess that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below in case anybody's interested. It doesn't really hold much but it is cute. I'll give it that. Um, I will, I'll show it at the end. But anyways, before I put it together I thought about putting it back in that corner where the tiered tray was. Um, but yeah, I, I figured out really quick that it wouldn't fit. So I did go ahead and finish putting it together and I do like it. It's just, it's a little small for our family. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that was me realizing that this is way too tall to put it where I wanted to, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I do like it. Like I said, we just have to keep extra fruit. I'll get there. We'll explain it when we show it. But I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that. And I also decided that this big mason jar with my utensils, it was time for it to just take a break from the counter. I was just, I was tired of it being there and just cluttering up the counters. So I did put them down in the utensil drawer in the drawers so yeah but i have realized had to let go oh cuz something's broken and i'm the reason is not that is no when you'll do better with a me with a me with a me oh, oh, oh. 
So I'm just curious, has anybody else had this problem? My spice thing right there, the carousel, it gets greasy on top. And I know it's because it's so close to the stove, but it is so irritating to me. So is it just my kitchen? So with that being said, we pulled out the big guns for the stove, the microwave, and I did also clean the top of the carousel. Um, this is super clean. Is that what it's called? I think so. Non-sponsored, by the way. Um, but yeah, it works really good on grease. It's, it's kind of strong, I think, the smell is. If you spray a lot of cleaner like I do. But it works really good. So if you've never tried super clean, give it a try. Um, it's not that easy to find. I found it at... I got mine off of Amazon, but they do sell it at car parts places as well. At least around here they do. So, yeah, it works really good for greasy areas like the stove after you've made chicken that has threw grapeseed oil everywhere.
place. So yeah, if you noticed, we skipped a few steps like cleaning off the table and cleaning it. Um, that's because my battery died, both of them. Um, I have three. One just disappeared. I don't know where it's at. And the other two are dead at this point. I don't know, but I did get just a few little clips with my phone. I didn't feel like getting out a whole nother tripod and setting it up and all that stuff um, because it was late at this point. So it is what it is. I hope that you can still enjoy this video even without seeing the full extent of me doing the cleaning. And I did want to mention this tablecloth was, I think, $14. I mean, it's very good quality. Most cloth tablecloths, like they soak up wetness. This doesn't. It just puddles on top of it and you clean it off. And I really enjoyed that about it. Um, so far, no stains or there's been nothing, no dirt showing on it, which is a big deal around here. All right. So ends up my batteries was dead. Um, one died and the other one was dead as well. And then the other one, it ran away. I don't know. It doesn't. It's hiding. So this is what it looks like. Everything that was here, all the like decorations and stuff I did put up there. There's the M, the little fruit baskets just hanging out up there. And that little sign and then there is the lantern so i really like how it looks i didn't expect it to look i don't know this different it might not look different to you but it looks different to me and i just really enjoy how it looks now so we'll see how long it lasts um this really isn't big enough for our family we're a family of six if you didn't know that so this won't hold a lot of fruit and then this little guy is absolutely useless to be honest, unless you got like two bananas. I don't know. We might we might have a purpose for it. Maybe if we decide to get lemons, because sometimes I do buy lemons and I buy like two or three at a time. So that's perfect. But it does look really cute and it helps fill the space, I think. But I'll just have to fill the basket and put the extra fruit into the pantry. So it's really not that big of a deal. Just an extra step, a little extra nuisance. But all in all, I really just like how it looks. Um, it looks cleaner and tidier. I mean, obviously it does cleaner and tidier. This is the space that always gets so cluttery and messy. I don't know why. That's just people come in the back door and that's where they drop all their stuff. So, yeah, I really like how it looks. Super pretty. Um, I did mop the floor. This I really needed to iron or wash and dry it. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. But this is what this space looks like and I really like it. It's crazy how just a little bit of change makes a big difference or maybe that's just me but you know it is what it is and I'm the one that lives here so my opinion is the one that matters the most. All right y'all so we got all the work out of the way and the dinner now it's time to cut into this dessert. This is one of the best things that I have made in a very long time. It tastes like a like a jacked up strawberry shortcake pretty much. It is so good. Um, yeah, I had to contain myself. I done good not eating too much of it. But guys, it was delicious. Definitely going to be making this again. Um, I wish I would have made this for my sister for her birthday cake. It's not really a cake, but it is so good and she would have loved it. But anyways, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I could make it for Mother's Day. That's a good idea. But anyways, don't forget to go over and check out Corinne's channel. She is such a sweetheart. Um, yeah, I love her to death and I know you will like her as well. And this video goes up two days before her birthday. So let's go ahead and make sure we put in the extra effort to go over and just support her and say hello. Maybe even early happy birthday. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time, bye guys.